Hi guys, thought you might be interested to see this. This is an Atari ST uh, running on a Mr. FPGA. I'll just show you how it's configured. So we've got our HDD0 there uh, using that file atari3gb.vhd. Uh, that's courtesy of PES82, so thanks for that. Uh, albeit I've modified it very slightly. We've got 8 megs of RAM. Uh, we're using a TOS 206 US image, um, the chipset set up for uh, STE, and if we have a quick look at the UART mode, we can see that that's currently set up for modem, and it's using uh, 9600 board. Whilst we're in there, we'll just reset that to make sure that's going to work. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If we drill into the C drive here, you can see we've got a folder a directory called comms. Uh, we're going to use this application, Neocom. And we'll run that up. Okay, so this is a piece of shareware. Uh, you should be able to find it easily enough uh, on the web. But you might have to use some software emulation just to convert the image into a format that you can use to ultimately either get it across as a floppy image or get it across onto the, the uh, VHD. Okay, I'll show you how this is set up. So if we go into RS232, we can see there it's set up for 9600 board, one stop bit, no parity, no flow control, 8 bits and modem 1. So I'll accept those settings. If we have a quick look at window, you can see that we've got it set to fit the window, uh, use the full window, and use an 8x8 font. We'll give it an AT. You can see we get an OK back. So that's basically coming back from the Wi Fi modem that's uh, integrated into the Mr. FPGA, or I should say specifically the, uh, the Linux subsystem. Um, and the principle would be. Pretty much the same if you were using a physical Atari ST, plug the Wi-Fi modem into the serial port and uh, and connect to it that way. So we're going to try and connect to amstrad.simulant.uk. Give it an ATDC first. And the port is set to 464. On the listening host. So, if you're familiar with the way Wi Fi modems work, uh, you'll already know this. But basically, what this is doing is it's telling it to dial um, and then the host FQDN, fully qualified domain name of abstract.simulant.uk on port 464. And what that's effectively going to do is tell the Wi Fi modem to establish a telnet connection onto that host and that port. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Okay. Log in now. And voila, we're connected. Okay. Let's just have a look at a couple of things whilst we're in here. So if we press R to read new messages, you can see there's one that I posted not too long ago. And if we wanted to, let's say, send an email, press E for email, N for net send, attachment, I'm going to give it an email address, so let's choose my Gmail account. and slash s to save and send. Just wait for that to arrive. Okay. And there you go, that's turned up on my other machine. 
and then once we're finished with the BBS, obviously there's there's lots more you can do with it, but this is just to demonstrate the point that you can connect it. So O to log off, and yes, and that should disconnect us and hang up the uh, the modem. And just to prove that has actually happened, you can see we've got no carrier, but if we issue an AT, we get an OK back. So then once we're we finished with Neocom, we can just quit out of there. That's it, and back to uh, back to the desktop. So really, is as simple as that. Probably the uh, the hardest part is converting the the software into a format that you can use and getting it across either onto a floppy disk or um, or onto your VHD. But um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and in terms of software emulators that you could use for that, I, I was using Hotari, so that that would be an option. But um, there you go, pretty straightforward. All right, guys, hopefully that was useful, and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers for now. <laughs>